Today is Friday the 11th of August uh, and right now I want to talk a little bit about the book that I read yesterday, The Cloisters. I haven't finished yet but I read chapter 10. So far, uh, right now, I'm not like attached to any of the characters present here. We met the main character that I forgot, Anne. Her name's Anne. She was supposed to uh, intern at like the Met but then the people were like, no actually we don't have any more spots available. You're gonna have to just like go back home. You don't have a, sp uh, a place here. Uh, but then another person came in and was like, actually, how about you go in there at the Cloisters, which is apparently another museum. I did not know that. I did not know that, but now I know. Uh, this book talks a lot about um, information about like the Renaissance period and the story in itself. Uh, the, the main character, and she doesn't have a dad because her dad passed away. And then she goes into another Cloisters where she meets Richard and whatever the fuck her name is. Once again, very invested. Rachel, I think. Richard, Richard is another person. Stephen, oh my god, Stephen is, is the person that I'm thinking of. Uh, Rachel was also like an intern. She's kind of like the, the girl that the main character looks up to. She's like, oh my god, she's so classy, she's so professional. I want to be her when I grow up. And they're working on a exhibition about uh, like not just tarot, but like predicting the future. And they're trying to prove that people uh, a long, long time ago will also use these practices and use tarot cards in order to predict the future because I think there was like evidence that people use tarot cards but not with the intention of predicting the future but just as playing cards so they're trying to prove that people in ancient times also used it to predict the future not predict the future but like breathe into the future or like predict something so that's what they're trying to do they're looking through papers that's like a draw card list looking through papers and all the stuff there's also Leo, which is a gardener, which she has a crush on. Also, another thing that I hate about the main character, it's like, it's very weird. She like, she met uh, Stephen. Stephen, she was like, Stephen talked to her, for, talked to her for five seconds, and immediately in the book she was like, oh my god, I'm feeling so hot. He's so close to me, and I like, I'm getting all this approval. Oh my god, he's he's so hot. Um, I want to fuck him. I mean, she didn't say that, but he was giving those vibes, and I was like, you met him five minutes ago, and then she met Leo, which was a gardener. She's like, oh my god, she's getting so close to me. Blah, blah, blah. He's so hot. I want to fuck him. So it's like this this main character, any guy that talks to her, she's like, oh my god, I I need to, which you know, it's a little like I'm about to start chapter eleven, page one hundred and eleven. Oh my god. Look, here comes 
comes another log from the reading corner. I'm on page 195 and I hate the main character so much. I feel like they constantly make the stupidest of choices. Maybe it's because like I can't relate that I'm like, this is really fucking stupid, but this is really fucking stupid. It's like, isn't this what the city taught you? That it was your job to climb to the top to also to, to take chances? This bitch I think has been in the closet for like a month, if that. And your personality changed like that? Bitch, I have something to tell you. The city didn't change you. You were already a bitch. You were already dumb. You were already like scrupulous. You were already like a hater. <laughs> I fucking hate uh and I imagine, imagine going to like a breakfast with someone who you haven't seen in a while and they're like, by the way, your friend? Yeah. She had a roommate that died. Then her parents died while she was in there with them. Then um and now Patrick said she keeps having people around her die and then they're like, by the way, I'm scared for you, like, please be okay and your response is, well, you weren't there with me two years ago, so fuck off are you kidding me? are you kidding me? <laughs> are you fucking eight? like, and she's so fucking pretentious, like maybe that's why I never imagined to find a wide group of friends none of the rules fit and now when, that I was older I wasn't plastic enough to mold myself into someone into someone else New York had taught me that I no longer cared if I fit I prefer to stand out oh my god I just want her to die I really want her to be the next one to like <laughs> Rachel please pull through and fucking kill Anne because <laughs> I'm tired I'm too tired this bitch <laughs> I hate her so much okay so I finished the book say I'm disappointed because I had no expectations but mm, the ending was a little bit me. I don't know. Like, the revelation of spoiler alert uh, and being the one that like ran over her father by accident was a, I was like ooh I really like they really had crossed my mind even though she kept talking about her father I was like I thought that it was just like you know a plot point for trauma or something to like give her an, an excuse for being a bitch or something but turns out to be slightly relevant and then the revelation that she had killed her parents was like that makes sense and then the revelation that um she had killed she rachel had killed uh, patrick i was like that makes sense as well so it wasn't exactly a surprise i thought it was okay i still like the read a little bit i wasn't ecstatic but it was easy to read and i finished it in all like a day and a half